Hey, welcome to High Encoding. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam. I totally forgot to mention that uh, people you're watching on, if you're watching on YouTube or you're watching on High Encoding, uh, people actually a little bit complained that uh, the sound quality is very low. So I bought a new mic and actually the two previous videos are also recorded by using the new microphone. So let me know if the sound is okay. Uh, from my side, it seems okay, but hey, you're the viewer, so you must decide. So this is a fun uh, screencast because I'm going to use JQD Table Sorter Library. What it does is it will sort your columns of a table, uh, HTML table, and it will sort in ascending and descending order, which is, I think, pretty cool. But I'm going to use it with a grid view control because most people are using grid view control to display tables in an ASP.NET application. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just create a simple grid view. Oops. And I'm going to say grid view ID equal to, I don't know, grid view one. And put the auto generate column equals to false. All right, now I need to s supply some data to the grid view control. Uh, let me see if I can take the easy way out and use link to SQL to supply some data. Come on. It's taking an eternity. Let's see where is link to SQL. If I can see, here we go. So I'm gonna just call it Northwind. I don't even know if I have the Northwind database. Okay. Server Explorer, just going to add that. Oh, I do actually have NetWind. And I'm going to add the categories. So let's go to tables. And okay, so it only has customers. Okay, so I'm just going to add customers. Here we go. Close that one. Just build the app. All right, and go over here. It's going to say if post back. Seems like my computer needs a restart or something. Okay, so now I'm going to say, okay, using more DB equal to not when data context and grid view one dot data source which is this equal to you know from customer I think in the db dot db dot customers don't even know if there are any customers in it here we go gv one dot data source data bind actually Gonna call that Let's go ahead and let's say auto generate to true and try to run and try to see if there is any data inside the database. Okay, so lucky me, there are a couple of records in the database. Um, so we have this. Okay, now in order to make it sortable, you have to use the library and the table sorter method. So I am going to go over here and I'm going to just say that when the document is actually ready, what you need to do is get the element, which is this, and I'm getting the element by ID. That's, that's why I have the hash sign. And I think I have to say table sorter. Okay. Let's go and load it up. So now if I click, you will see it doesn't really sort. That's because the prerequisite of table sorter is that the head, T head and T body are rendered. And if you see in the source, you will see that the, the, the grid view is rendered as a table okay 
and it starts with a TR, so it doesn't have the table head or the table body. So what can we do? Well, there is an easy way if I go over here and if I just say if uh, grid view dot rows dot count if it has rows then I can actually say to render I'm just gonna say render this and header row dot table section which is gv1 dot header row and then the table section in this case it will be table row section dot table header and gv1 dot I think it will be footer row this in this case table section equal to table row section dot table footer now in this case the grid view will render so what I'm doing is I'm telling that hey grid view you need to render the table head and the table body okay let's build this and refresh it so let's go into the view source and see okay so we have the table over here you can see the head is over there and then the body is there so now it fulfills the prerequisite of the table sorter which means that it is now rendering the table head as well as the table body here's the table body here's the table head let's click on the column oopsie daisy not actually oopsie daisy because it does sort as you can see so I think it's pretty cool right I mean I just wrote one line of code this one and it just started client-side sorting of course there's no indication that you're sorting in an ascending or descending order but you can change that see so I can sort by name first name last name any column basically I can sort by any column and you just did like oops, one line of code that's pretty much it I think it's very cool just remember that you need to do these things to you know to enable the table header and the table body to be rendered by the grid view control that's pretty much it all right one last thing if you enjoyed the video you will also enjoy high on coding it has articles it has videos it has podcast and it has your latest feedbacks and you can see there's like how many articles are there let me see 693 wow okay so it's reaching 700 um, there's a donate button if you would like to help me out how about you buy me a cup of coffee or something click on the donate button it will take you to this magnificentio page and you can donate you can do a one-time donation or you can do a monthly donation um, that's pretty much it bookmark this site because I'm pretty sure you are going to use it and you will be using it and spread the word around thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this screencast